Hey fellow explorers, today I am at Honolulu International Airport on the island of Oahu in Hawaii and I'm going to give you a tour of this airport. It is a very unique airport because much of the airport is actually outside and not air conditioned, particularly here in the ticketing check-in area. Well, Chris, it looks like it's uh, inside. Well, actually this side on the right, that just open to the outside air. There's no doors or anything like that. The other thing that makes this airport unique is before you come into ticketing, you have to clear agricultural inspections. So all bags have to be scanned through these agricultural uh, inspection x-ray machines before you can come and check in. Whether it's check-in or carry-on, they all have to go through there. There's a few different security checkpoints. This is security checkpoint four, big screens that you can see the departures. Here we've got American, Southwest, Delta, United, ANA, more airlines that are down that way. But now I'm gonna take you past security into the gate area. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are, just made it through security, turning the camera around again. Uh, and this hallway on this side of security, open to the outside air. As you see out here, we can just look out on the runway. There's glass and then there's no glass. Alaska Airlines, Delta, Southwest in the back. The security checkpoint was just right here behind these little doors. Going down to baggage claim, it's just that way. This is Terminal 2. Behind me are gates F and G. United goes out of there. Gates A, B, C, and D, and E are this way. Uh, one of the nicest shops in here is the DFS store from Hawaii with Love. They've got pineapples, as you would imagine. They've got turtles. They've got uh, Hawaiian scents and soaps and lotions. They've got little flowers that you might put in your hair. If you're looking for some souvenirs to bring home with you, I think this is probably the best store in the airport. Honolulu Cookie is also a very popular souvenir to bring back home, as is some University of Hawaii merchandise. Uh, now, if we come over this way, turning to the right is where we're gonna walk down. First, there's a sign over here that says Cultural Garden. What is the Cultural Garden? Let's check this out. Uh, it's actually down this staircase, and this is where you go to the airline lounges too. This is a very unique part of this airport because I don't know a whole lot of airports that actually have a garden in the middle. So if you're looking for a cool place to hang out uh, between flights that you know, you'll know you never see in any other airport really, uh, unless you're maybe in an airport in Japan, is this cultural garden down here. This is the Japanese Immigration Centennial Commemorative Monument. It is this like cool Japanese garden down here. Uh, it's got the rocks, it's got some koi fish that's in there, it's got lanterns, it's got a waterfall, and uh, it's pretty neat down here. A little island in the middle, uh, and then over here on the right, we've got some of the different airline lounges. Uh, maybe this one isn't even an airline lounge. Well, this, one, this is the Kama'aina Cafe. This is the cafe for airport employees. Uh, there's conference rooms down here. Uh, service animals can leave themselves down here. There's a neat little hut that's in the middle. So if it's raining, you can duck in there to get out of the rain. Uh, in these conference rooms, one's a job fair, one's movement area driver training. And then this bring us to the second part of the garden. We can take a look at the little map of this garden right here. Uh, you can see we're at this star. Uh, we've kind of like walked over the Japanese gardens. We're going to walk around the Hawaiian gardens and then we can see the Chinese gardens. <coughs> okay. Or maybe we'll do it this way. Okay. Uh, so if you've got animals, they can relieve themselves right here. There's some uh, art pieces with the Chinese garden. They've got a red pagoda in the center. They've got a kind of green bridge over on the side. That's the main part of the airport terminal that I was walking through before. And in the Hawaiian garden, much more of the tropical plants, big tree in the center. Oh, and yes, there are restrooms down here too. Okay, uh, and it uh, looks like they're 
in a state of remodeling related to lounges. Uh, this is one of the airport lounges, the Hawaii Lounge, which allows in people with these cards. Uh, we've got the KAL Lounge over here for Korean Air. So if you're looking for your, like the Hawaiian Air Lounge is legitimately up in the main part of the airport, but a lot of the other ones are down here along this garden. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, Qantas is over here too. Uh, let's go ahead and walk up the staircase back into the real part of the airport. There is one elevator, but you know, elevators are kind of boring uh, <laughs> to go through on video. Okay, let's see if we can sneak through this door. There we go. All right, so this brings us into an air conditioned part. Uh, these are the E gates restaurant here, the PGA Tour Grill. And so this is what a typical gate area looks like at Honolulu Airport. Really looks like something out of the 1970s. Very gray, not very bright. Um, the air conditioning works well, which is good. But uh, generally the gate areas I find are rather unappealing in HNL Airport. The garden that we went through is the nicest part, which is why we started there. Uh, one of my favorite places to eat is the chicken company. Uh, they have some pretty good rotisserie chicken. Let's pop our head over here. Uh, and you can get a half chicken for about 20 bucks. Right there, you can see the chickens. They've also got beef. And then you get a whole bunch of sides over there. They got prime rib today. There's something out of business there. There's a little fast food, touchless self-checkout thing here. We've got Hawaiian Isle Memories, another gift shop where you can pick up Lay's. We've got an eye store where you can pick up headphones, a newsstand, the Hawaii market where you can get Hawaiian popcorn, Hawaiian shortbread, guava shortbread, Hawaiian shrimp chips, you can get Hawaiian pancake mix, banana, macadamia nut, purple, sweet potato, pineapple, coconut. You can get yourself a floral bag because that's what you would do when you were coming back from Hawaii. Uh, and what I think is also really unique about this airport are the uh, fresh lay stands. So a typical welcome in the islands is to get a flower lay. If you're staying at some hotels, you'll get it. If not, you can buy one for yourself to greet yourself right here. Uh, these lays, $22, $12 is kind of what they range from. And if you prefer uh, not real flowers and you want it to last a long time, you can get fake flowers right there. You can also get bracelets. We're doing some construction out here. Oh, they've got these like leg massage chairs for a few bucks, $2 to massage yourself. There's a little bar here in the middle. And uh, this brings us to the end of the E-Gates with also some Hawaiian art up there. All right, I'm gonna turn around now and take us back to the uh, beginning of the E-Gates and I'll pick you back up from there. All right, here I am back with you again, right at that PGA Tour grill, right where I came up from the Hawaiian, Japanese, Chinese garden. And uh, we're back out in the outdoor air. You can now see the garden from up high. I think many people actually never quite make it down there and only ever see it from up here, but that's cool too. It's pretty from up here as well. Uh, looking out onto the runway, because you can, and you can hear it and see it, we see Jetstar, we see Hawaiian Airlines in the back, we see Japan Airlines, and a number of other Hawaiian Airlines over there. We see someone coming at us riding their skateboard. You know, sometimes it feels like in Hawaii, there's a little bit of anything that goes. You don't often see people riding their skateboard. There's the air tower right there, the control tower for the uh, it's Honolulu Airport, named after Daniel K. Inui. There's a Starbucks right up here if you want to get your coffee fix. There are luggage carts you can use throughout the airport. They're going to cost you $6, unless you find one that somebody hasn't returned. That DFS store that I walked you through earlier, they have a few different additional branches. Here is their sunglass and watch branch, uh, which, you know, 
none of those are gonna be cheap. And another version of their From Hawaii with Love. Uh, this central kind of thing between the E gates probably has the most shops in the middle. This is another uh, security checkpoint. Up here, there is an elevator to the Wiki Wiki shuttle. It's like a bus that'll take you between uh, some of the gates. If you need to get around faster, you can take the Wiki Wiki shuttle to get you around the airport. So those E gates are definitely kind of like uh, the shops there are like the nicest section. Then you can see this is also the very drab, unremodeled area. Uh, and today, a rainy day, it's kind of pleasant to walk through here. However, comma, uh, if it's a sunny day with no rain, it can be really, really hot to walk in this airport. And so uh, don't underestimate how long a walk through here takes and how hot you're going to get as compared to another airport because the humidity is uh, quite, quite significant. All right, these are the D gates and many shops here still out of business from COVID. Some odd chairs placed in the center here. Oh, and if you can hear my bag, really quite noisy to run over some of these bumpy things. Uh, the gate areas in D, the gate areas where you sit are air conditioned, uh, but then this common walkway isn't. So uh, this very long walkway uh, is gonna bring us over to uh, the A, B, and the C gates, which is where we saw that uh, Japan Airlines plane and some of the Hawaiian Airlines planes. The baggage claim is spread out throughout the airport, so if you're arriving into here, make sure you take the way down to your appropriate baggage claim. If you're picking up a rental car, a uh, nice thing is they have a quite new consolidated rental car facility that is right in front of Terminal 2, where we started this whole thing. It's like a mm, three minute walk from baggage claim to the rental car center if you're coming in on United or Delta or where we started this. All right, now as we come into this bridge, we come into a, another newly renovated area. Uh, and we've got the C gates to the left and then the A and the B gates to the front. The A and the B gates down here where you're gonna find a lot of the inter-island flights. Uh, and uh, so you can see Hawaiian Airlines primarily operates out of the A and B gates. That's also where their lounge is. Uh, if you look out this way, you can see the central parking structures. The consolidated rental car facility is just over that way. And uh, this is about where I'm going to end this video because well, I have a flight to catch. And so, fellow explorers, if your travels are bringing you to Hawaii, you might enjoy checking out some of my other Hawaii travel guides. You'll find links here in the screen, also in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you over there.